Get me, you syrupy stack of man cakes. Oh, it's too much work. Why don't you come and get me? Oh. Jeez, Louise, are you okay? Just give me a minute. Uh, but feel free to go nuts on me. <laughs> hmm. Oh boy, dinner time. The perfect break between work and drunk. Wait, what's that smell? It's like a stalk of broccoli fell in a pot of boiling water. It's your new diet. But I have all those old diets I still haven't finished. Your lack of bedroom pizzazz last night started me worrying. So I hired this nutritionist, Betsy Bidwell. Homer, did you know I used to weigh 400 pounds? I'll bet no man would touch you. Well, I went from fat to all that using my simple foolproof diet. It's all about little substitutions. Instead of French toast for breakfast, why not eat a bell pepper? When you crave something sugary, eat a bell pepper. Want a beer? Bell pepper. Mmm. It's tangy like a pepper, but crunchy like a bell. Bell pepper. Hot dogs! Get your hot dogs! One, please. Bell peppers, piping cold, crunchy and bland. Three, please. <laughs> Yeah, get out. You've gained seven pounds. Well, it's a muscle weighs more than fat. Homer, your body is all fat. Homie, have you been cheating on your diet? What? I'm not even going to dignify that with eye contact. Hmm. <laughs> 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 What you doing, Mom? Going crazy? Searching for evidence. I know your father's cheating on his diet. Hey, Marge, looking for something? I'm looking for something, too. A bell pepper I don't like. Maybe it'll be this one. Wrong again. <laughs> See that fat lady with the mustache? That's you. See that hippo rolling in dung? You're the dung. Now that's enough. You each got one in. Oh, but hers was better. Meet Jennifer. She's worried her acupuncturist boyfriend is sticking it to someone else. He used to be so loving. Now he says he's always working late. But when he comes home, his needles aren't even bloody. I've tried everything except talking to him. Help me, TV show. We'll find out if Jennifer's boyfriend has been fooling around on sneakers. If you suspect a loved one of cheating on you, call the sneakers hotline. Also call if you don't suspect. Most cheating happens when you think everything is just great. Hmm. Could this show help me with...